Hi Akash, how are you? Hi Pranay, I am good. Thank you for asking. How are you? I am also good. Thank you for asking. So as you know, this round is going to be the machine coding round. Okay. So I am going to give you a problem statement. Basically, I am going to split that problem statement into small sub problems, and then you can code accordingly. Okay. And finally, we will achieve the solution. So now what you can do is you can open any online code editor of your choice. And now I am going to give you the problem statement. Sure. So I am going to open Stack Blitz. And uh, okay. So I am going to choose this JavaScript, uh, basically React boilerplate with JavaScript. And uh, yeah. So Akash, what you have to do is you have to create two lists basically. Okay. And one of the list will have a checkbox in front of its items and another list will have no checkbox. Okay. Uh, first you create this much, then I'm going to tell you other functionalities. Sure. Uh, okay. So uh, this is my app.js. Inside this, uh, what I'm going to do is, um, okay. So I will be first creating the UI. Okay. So we have to create two lists. So what we can do for now, um, Okay, so this will be like uh, these will be like my two divs okay and uh, this will be the list one and another one will be the list two and over here what i can do is i can simply create one heading okay and this will be list one and over here it will be list two something like this now what i can do is i can simply make use of a ul tag and akash one more thing you don't need to focus on html and css much okay uh, only focus on a simple html and functionality sure okay so to render the list what i'm going to do is i'm going to create two state first like and i will uh, i will take this data structure as array of object okay and what i can do is i can say like this is like item 1 and similarly i can do you know item 2 and item 3 something like this now uh, this is the list 1 that i have created and similarly i can create the list 2 also and yeah we are going to change these variables and over here i can simply do a b c just to distinguish between two lists and over here here it is giving the error so we can have use state something like this okay so now what we can do is uh, over here i have this li tag now this is the ul and inside this ul i can simply do is list one dot map and inside the map i can simply say that item comma index and we can render our ui and uh, i'm going to use simple li tag for my ui something like this and over here we can simply render the item dot title something like this cool and what i can do is i can simply copy this and paste it over here and simply change it to list 2 something like this cool okay one more thing that we need to do is we can have this ul over here and over here as well cool and now as we have mentioned we need to have a checkbox over here so for that i am going to make use of input type equals checkbox okay and it has a check property so i can have check equals true for now and uh, uh, yeah i guess that's it for now uh, it's giving an error jsx expression okay so it says that it should have one parent element so for that thing i can use the react fragment something like this cool and 
and not okay so we don't need the react dot fragment over here because we uh, forgot uh, okay so what we can do is uh, we can simply either we can use react dot fragment or we can simply have you know li tag um, so it will work cool so right now all of these items are checked because we have by default pass checked equals to true we can also pass this index property for the uniqueness and uh, yeah we can kind of you know pass this over here as well p equals index something like this cool so this is the basic uh, html uh, that i have developed uh, now uh, okay yeah so i i have developed uh, the basic html cool so now what you have to do is you have to create a button that will uh, you know uh, name it as a swap button and what its functionality will be the particular item like let's suppose there are two lists list one and list two and the item on which you are going to check it okay and let's suppose you have checked item one and item two go to the html first okay yeah so now as you can see let's suppose you have checked on item one okay and item two and when you click the swap button the item one and item two should get swapped with list two's item a and item b okay so basically those particular index should get swapped with each other so what you can do is for now you can simply swap the titles of both the items like let's suppose if you have checked item three in list one and on button click you should swap the item three with item c i hope you have got my point yes i got your point so basically we have to swap the items uh, which are checked on button click um, okay so uh, let's see how we can do it uh, okay okay so first of all uh, what i'm thinking is i'm going to have a handle check function over here that is going to handle the checkbox change something like this but first of all i will also need to have one property you know something related to checked and initially it will be false something like this so that uh, what we are going to do now is rather than having the static value hard coded value here we can have the dynamic value on the basis of you know uh, the array of object that we have so over here what we can do simply is uh, like we can see if item dot checked something like this okay and now uh, what i'm going to do is over here on change yeah so on change i'm going to simply add this function that i've created handle checkbox change something like this basically this function will be responsible for handling checkbox and what i can do is i can uh, just simply to check like which particular item is getting checked i can help it with the index so over here we can say that it will take the index okay so as we have only the check boxes in front of list one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to update it like um, something like this uh, updated so sorry updated list one so now what we can do is we can simply have list one i'm not going to directly mutate the original array so we are going to you know first store it and uh, using shallow copy and now what we can do is uh, we can simply use this updated list one over here and now at that particular index that we have got okay on which we are on which we are clicking we are going to update its checked property um, by simply doing by simply toggling it something like this cool and finally what we can do is set list one with updated list one something like this so now let's see if it's working or not okay so it's saying list is not defined okay over here cool. so let's see yeah it's working so our checkbox is working now what we need to do next is uh, let's create a button so after this div i'm going to create a simple button
and over here we can say swap checked items something like this and on button click basically we can pass a click and you can simply you know handle swap something like this and let's go over here and let's uh, create const and handle swap and something like this good okay so first we need to you know think about it okay so now what i'm going to do is so on button click what we can do is we can simply check you know all the items basically uh, we can traverse uh, this item list and we can check uh, if uh, you know any of this item is uh, like checked then we can simply swap it okay that particular index we can swap with the index of uh, list 2 like okay so this is the like approach that is coming to my mind uh, so what I can do is I can simply do something like uh, I will copy this line updated list 1 and similarly I will have the updated list 2 something like this okay and now what I'm trying to do is uh, over here uh, like I can simply make use of updated list 1 dot for each and inside this what I can do is I will have the item and index and I can perform some operation like if if basically this item that we have is checked okay if the check property is true for that particular item then we can handle the swapping thing over here like uh, the simple swap that we do like first of all i am going to use this temp variable to you know uh, the simple swap logic that we all know that uh, we are going to store this element over here like index uh, okay so this index and uh, dot title something like this and now what i am going to do is i am going to simply give it the tight uh, basically the title of title basically the element at the same index okay and uh, in the second list basically now what i'm going to do is i'm going to update sorry now what we can do is um, let's write the logic first yeah something like this so what we have done is first we have stored this particular checked item into a temporary variable after that we have updated it with the item in the second list at the same index okay and after that we have updated this position with item 1 so something like this and finally what we can do is mm, we can simply update the state so to update the state what we can do is set list 1 uh, with the updated list 1 and similarly set list 2 with the updated list 2 something like this so now let's have a look if our logic works fine cool so yeah it's working i hope uh, as we can see like when we you know click on like any of the item so it gets swapped like let's see it's 3 and c so yeah it's getting swapped okay so yeah but there's one issue that this check mark is not getting uh, removed so for that what we can do is we can simply have updated list one at that particular index dot checked equals false after all the processing now let's see cool so item one and two were swept by item a and b and the check mark is also removed okay so yes uh, this is it uh, hi uh, i have done basically i have completed the question cool akash uh, can you just walk me through it yeah sure okay so what we have done is uh, like what i have done is i have simply created two list and uh, after that it's simple array of object and after that over here i have simply traversed and rendered the html section and I have created a button and a handle swap. Uh, okay, so basically I have created two handlers, one to handle the checkbox click and to another to handle the swap. And what I've done is I'm simply traversing this particular array and I'm checking if it is checked, then I'm simply 
uh, swap in both the items basically like items at that particular index with the item at that particular index in list 2 okay so akash can you uh, you know can you optimize it a little further or like from the code perspective what else can you do okay so if i have to talk about from code perspective only so what we can do is uh, first of all uh, we could have you know um, converted this particular html that we are creating um, we can make it reusable by simply uh, creating another component another small component and we can copy paste this over there and what we can do is we can simply call that component over here rather than uh, rendering the same html again and again and we can make it on flag basis like uh, that particular component will take a flag to show the checkbox or not and on the basis of that we can you know handle this thing conditionally because this is the only difference in between these two lists so number one thing is that that we could have done and that particular component can also check uh, take the you know uh, what will be the title so we can also pass a title and hence we can you know make our code more cleaner apart from this uh, right now i have made this list you know um, hard coded but if it is coming from the api then we need to have a check of uh, check of array over here like if we are not having empty array or something like that so yes uh, like these are the few things that we can take care of and uh, yes basically this is what i am able to think of right now cool akash uh, this looks great so what you can do now is you can simply share this link with me okay and yeah uh, that's it from my side do you have any questions so friends uh, now what you can do is you can ask if you have any question and the questions that you can ask i have already shared in this particular video okay so you can check out this video i will drop the link in the description box so friends if you have learned something new then please like share and subscribe to the channel you can also connect with me on instagram and you can also connect with me over this link for if you want to one to one connect with me or like for any mock interview okay so yeah and thank you for watching we'll be meeting with you all in the next video